Welcome to James Way's webinar, Common Maintenance Procedures for James Way's Guardian System. For better communication with the Guardian technician at James Way, here's how the Guardian panel is labeled. This is the CPU. When operating normally, the power and run lights should be lit. Also, the run terminal stop switch should be in terminal. The discrete output modules reside in slots 0 to 3. Very often in slot 4 there is a blank. The 8 analog input modules are in slots 5 and 6. The 8 analog output module is in slot 7. First, make sure the power is turned off to the Guardian panel. Then, remove the cover on the module that needs to be replaced. Pinch the tabs to remove the wires. Then carefully remove the module. If it is an analog output you are replacing, remove the jumper. Then carefully put the wires back onto the module. Once back on, carefully put the module back in place. Turn on the power and you're ready to go. Make sure the power is turned off. Remove all cables from the CPU. Carefully remove the CPU. Before putting the new CPU in, ensure that it has a battery. Carefully replace the old CPU with the new one. Plug all cords back into the CPU. Turn the power back on. To get to the calibration screen, touch and hold the top left hand corner of the touch screen. Click on settings, then adjust touch panel. Follow the steps and touch where the X is. And then your guardian panel is adjusted. To back up the touchscreen, you will need a USB key. Place the USB key in the back of the touchscreen marked USB port. To access the menu, touch and hold the top left hand corner of the touchscreen. Then click on memory. Touch back up. Then click USB and hit next. The next screen, press project and system. Click next. Touch OK and it'll start the backup.
Don't worry, this does take a bit of time. Once the backup is completed, touch OK and remove the USB key. Insert the USB into the USB port at the back of the touch screen. Touch and hold top left hand corner of the touch screen. Then press memory, restore, and touch USB. Select Project and System and touch Next. Press OK. This does take some time. Once the USB is loaded, the touch screen will reboot itself. It will then automatically display the screen. Make sure the fuse is securely in there. If it is, then it may need to be replaced. Take a screwdriver and remove the damaged fuse. This is the ISOCON. It is located in the black box that is under or near your computer. When the ISOCON is working properly, you'll have one solid light and two flashing lights. When not working properly, the flashing lights won't be on and one solid light will be on. Or, no lights at all.